Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And one thing that I noticed, I was saw another uh, YouTube video about the updates to this Open Web RX website, where you can use other people's radios that are located throughout the world. And I've used it in the past. There's another server similar to this that I use, but this one they've done an update. Uh, probably a couple months ago. And now, if you go to the receiver book, and uh, let's see, I want to see, uh, map, I want to see map view, map view. And then you need to zoom in, of course. And then, uh, this has both radios and these are radios that people own individuals own and they set up software so that other people on the internet can use their radios and this map shows the um, different types of internet services like I say there's this one here that I'm using now and then there's another one which I can't remember and I think maybe yeah here it is this actually shows the three, Open Web RX Web SDR and Kiwi SDR. Kiwi SDR. That's the one I use most often. So you can say only show those radios that use this particular software. So I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not going to filter it. And then if you don't filter it, no, I better filter it because if you don't filter it, you just have to look around and check all this stuff. Okay, let's filter it. And we want to use this one, the Open Web RX. And now it's going to update it. So now it's only going to show those radios that are using the Open Web RX. And there can be various versions. And the latest version um, has this new feature I want to try to show you. So let's. Let's click on, I think this one, this is in Orlando. So it shows you the title and then you have to click on the name and then it takes you to that receiver. And volume, volume, volume. Whoa, there it is. They've also changed these controls so I couldn't find the volume. So now you can add um, tags, these little green tags. Let me see. Uh, boy, I haven't used this in a while. Here we go. See these little green tags? This are These are tags that people have added, which you can use the search op option to search these tags. Jump around until it finds one above the whatever squelch level you've set. So I'm going to set the squelch level to automatic and then um, it says right click to search. So now it's searching and it's giving you a little table here of what it's found. The few tags that this particular radio has, uh, there's no activity. So you're not seeing anything here. But if it does find a signal above whatever you've set the squelch to, then it will stop and it will record here the time and other stuff. Also, let me turn this volume all the way down. Also, they've added a bunch of digital signals. So look at them all. Oh my gosh. Some of these are not new. A lot of uh, the digital for ham radio decodes they've added. There's SST, there's fax, there's RTTY decoder, packet decoder, AIS for aircraft decoders. Oh, I mean, they have really enhanced this thing. So if you haven't used it for a while, you need to check it out. Again, this is OpenWebRx and 
um, you, what you're doing is you're going to that map I showed you and you're selecting a receiver and they are running this software. And I believe um, this uh, software only runs on the little computer board. I can't think of the name of it right off. And uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. Um, and then that controls their radio and allows you to control that radio. It's pretty cool. And I'm not sure what this, and then there's the, here's the yellow tags, which is just information about signals. And there's a signal right there. I think it's di uh, digital. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, probably one of these mini digital decodes. Test of English language learning, T E L L. Alexa, stop. Gee, I said a key word in Alexa. Don't want to say it again, man. Yeah, my thingy <laughs> responded to me. Anyway, check this out. I'm really excited about it. Then it also has this other information it's providing. I haven't even looked at this. And then here's the, uh, the waveform here. And if I see if I just, I have no idea what this is. Might be J65. Oh, now I got a. Wow, I am so far behind. Sorry for the interruption. Got a message to do something I haven't done in a couple of days. I've had to set a bunch of alarms to try to catch up. Um, I don't know what this is. Anyway, check it out. Open Web RX. Um, the shortcut. Let me see if I can go back. Uh, there it is, right there. So this is. Yeah, let me shut this off. This is the website. It's OpenWebRx.de. Right there, all lowercase. And it gets you to this and what you want to do, unless you want to set up your own um, station, is you go down here to the receiver book. And that gives you the list of receivers. You can either get the listing or you can look at the map, which is to me is easier. And what I do quite often is, for instance, I believe Japan is still broadcasting news information via fax. Matter of fact, I saw a posting about that, that they're still doing it. So that's one of the things I do. Otherwise, I will do, um, I'll go to like uh, a weather station, like in New Orleans, and download uh, weather faxes. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Have a great day. Bye-bye.